This is my emergency medical kit. This is, well, in case I ever have to leave my house for emergency situations, this is my portable medicine cabinet, if you will. So, let's take a look and see what's all in it. Okay, here's the contents of my medical kit. That's quite a bit. As you can see, all that fitting right there. Starting off from left to right, I have some moleskin, two packages, a bunch of earplugs, some wipes for your glasses, uh, some Curad 2x2 two two, uh, pads, gauze pads, various rolls of cloth, uh, medical tape, plus a small roll of duct tape. Believe it or not, toothpicks. Um, if you need to probe something, uh, dip the toothpick in alcohol. Not only will it uh, sterilize the uh, wood toothpick, but it will also take alcohol inside the wound and try and clean things out. Not the best thing for it, but it's going to be a lot better than trying to uh, uh, put, pull things out with your fingers. A uh, small tube of hand sanitizer at the very top. Have some 99% isopropyl alcohol for sterilization as well as for fuel for the alcohol stove if need be. Uh, some, looks like uh, some eye wash and some saline solution, non-sterile, so you can flush, use that to flush wounds. It's got the squirt nozzle. Uh, two rolls of gauze. Three triangular bandages. Uh, some Q-tips and some dental floss. You can also use that for cordage. Uh, let's go back at the very top again. Uh, some foot powder, b uh, bite and sting kit, uh, various bandages for ouches, uh, for larger wounds, uh, some gauze pads, uh, some smaller ACE bandages, ACE style bandages, um, some EMT style shears, some antacids, and now we're getting into the medications. Um, that's uh, naproxen sodium. Uh, basically, it's what a leave is. Uh, uh, hydramine, the center one. Those are allergy tablets. The allergy tablets. That's def hydramine. Basically, it's Benadryl. Um, some actual Claritin because I suffer from seasonal allergies. The middle bottle that's acetaminophen, and you have some aspirin, and some more acetaminophen right there. One thing I forgot to add was an actual bottle of uh, ibuprofen. I thought one of those bottles of naproxen sodium was actually ibuprofen. It's a good thing I'm going through this now. Uh, some small packets of SPF 30 sunscreen, small two, small jar of Vaseline. Uh, a bottle of vitamin C, 1,000 milligram, and some multivitamins because your diet's going to be ruined, shot to, you know what, if you're under stress. Some larger gauze pads. I think that's out of that column. Uh, for dental hygiene and oral care kit, you have a mirror, uh, a couple of picks, so somebody can work on uh, your teeth or vice versa. Uh, for taking down medical information, there's a right in the rain notepad, uh, some toenail clippers, and some tweezers, some disinfecting wipes, a small bar of soap, just in case, a couple of razors, and that's about it. Uh, let's see, top again, we have some cough drops, um, both cherry and lemon flavor, in case some people don't like lemon flavor. Uh, some uh, dust masks or some medical masks. Uh, I do plan to get some uh, N94 or N95 masks, excuse me. Um, I just uh, never had the cash for it after spending all this money. Uh, instant cold pack. I should have another one as a spare. Uh, hydrocortisone, 1% hydrocortisone cream, anti-itch, toothache, pain relief, uh, some new skin, liquid bandage, that wound seal uh, that you see right there, it's basically um, a quick clot, uh, some antifungal cream, some neosporin, there's some 100% DEET 
uh, bug spray, afterbite, Carmex, chapstick, eye drops, two little packets of burn cream, uh, iodine, and some SPF 50. Um, seen my get home bag you have uh, I have one of those in there as well as well as there's three small bottles of, tra of travel size ibuprofen I sh should get more now into other medications this is Sudafed and it looks like it expires eh, this real soon I gotta get that replaced uh, this is uh, uh, Mucinex to uh, uh, decongestant uh, some, oops, that is anti-diarrheal medicine, and pink bismuth, basically Pepto-Bismol, and nitro gloves. I think I have like a total of 10 pair there, just in case. Uh, some cotton balls and a uh, emergency surgical kit. There is sutures, scalpel, uh, enough to do simple minor surgery out in the field. Will I need it? Uh, will I have to do uh, stitches? I hope not. Uh, stitching up a wound in the field by somebody that doesn't know exactly what they're, what, if they haven't been fully properly trained in, is dangerous. Uh, in the bag of uh, bandages, there are butterfly enclosures. Those are more suited for the average person. I got that for the tools to remove any foreign debris just in case. And of course, there's all the information of the drugs that are in this kit uh, in case I have to uh, write it down for any kind of trained medical professional or if there is a doctor that I have to give the information to an actual physician. So that is my medical kit. Uh, obviously, I have to replace one of those uh, uh, Noxum uh, noxoprobium, sodium, whatever, uh, with an actual bottle of ibuprofen. For anybody that's looking to build a comprehensive kit like this, go check out Patriot Nurse. She is a wealth of knowledge, especially her earlier videos on getting started. So that's my medical kit. Ha any questions or comments, leave a comment below. Thanks. Okay, I want to give a little update. Um, remember when I mentioned I accidentally discovered, whoops, two bottles of Naxoprene sodium. Basically, it's the generic version of Aleve. Um, I went out to the store and I got myself a bottle of ibuprofen. Granted, it's a 100, 100 caplet count, but at the same time, the ibuprofen, it's a, for those who don't know, it's an anti-inflammatory, unlike the... Uh, Naxo Aleve, I'll call it. That's the brand name, I'll call it. Uh, the Aleve, it's not really a uh, anti-inflammatory. It's just a pain relief. It's an NSAID. Uh, it's an NSAID. Um, the Patriot nurse, she knows a lot more about the basic drugs like these than I do. I just know what works in my body. So that's the only update to my medical kit. So thanks.